This last year, the pandemic has impacted families across the UK in a number of ways. With more people relying on the support of food banks, there was a 67% increase in families being referred to food bank support. The Mustard Tree Charity, which supports people across Greater Manchester with access to food banks, clothing and furniture, saw the number of people turning to them for support rocket from 500 a month to more than 1,000. After hearing the charity was struggling with the increased demand, For Housing stepped in to support the charity to deliver vital services for residents. The funding helped support for many people, such as Leah Partington from Little Holton, who faced financial hardship before turning to Mustard Tree for help. The Mustard Tree, it was um, through Pascal, um, who worked in Eccles. Um, he helped me with um, trying to get to food banks and the um, supporting of the furniture and the debt advice, but it was mainly through Pascal that I was referred through from Rob Bland, from the housing officer who originally but we referred me to him. Uh, it was originally to start off with, it was the food banks, the food parcels, because um, I would sometimes go without food for a while. It's helped me with so much. It's gotten me off the floor, basically. Otherwise, I'll, if it wasn't for the mustard tree, I'll be scraping myself off of the floor. For Housing has worked in partnership with Mustard Tree for a number of years, with both organisations focused on tackling poverty and improving lives. So the relationship between um, For Housing and Mustard Tree has really allowed us to see more clients, to help more people. Um, so if you see the numbers of people that are coming into our Eccles site now, we've doubled the numbers of people that are coming in and those people simply wouldn't have had the option of support and help without For Housing. Um, for us it's about offering um, a range of support to people when they need it. Um, and that isn't always, it's not only food, it's also access to one-to-one -one support and advice, um, helping with payment plans, helping with rent arrears, helping with um, well-being really. Um, and I think it's about having those shared values, about understanding that we don't do stuff to people, you know, that we don't judge people, that any of us could be in the situation that our clients are in. Um, and it's about offering that kindness, but what For Housing have done and that relationship has given us the scale to allow us to, have to, to do that properly, to do that um, in a dignified way, having enough space that we can actually see people in and then having enough opportunity across um, not just Eccles but also Little Holton um, to take some sort of chances to try on people really, to try take some chances to try and support people to recover. We couldn't have done that at all without Four Housing. And Four Housing have absolutely allowed us to grow, increase our presence in Salford, which we will continue to do so now because of them. Working with people to ensure that they can keep living independently in their homes, For Housing has referred more than 90 tenants to the charity since the pandemic hit. For Housing's partnership with Mustard Tree is part of a huge range of support services the landlord has been offering to people across Salford during COVID-19 outbreak. This includes delivering over 600 prescriptions to people who are shielding, Staff volunteering for more than a thousand hours at vaccine centres across Salford. Making more than 31,000 welfare calls to support people who need it. Giving 469 people a lift by delivering wellbeing packs. Working with local authorities to make 139 homes available as temporary accommodation for people facing homelessness and financial hardship. Now, 49 families have gone on to secure a permanent home with For Housing. For Housing believes in improving lives and making more things possible for more people. The partnership with Mustard Tree, alongside other COVID-19 support, plays a huge part in delivering real change. The pandemic created a situation where organisations that had a, a stake, a, a sort of anchor organisations in Salford, needed to come together and collectively deal with the challenge. No one could have done it in isolation. One of the first organisations we, we, we started discussions with was Mustard Tree. Um, part of the struggle for Mustard Tree is, is incoming funding. So we, we identified that gap and we provided uh, funding for additional posts to help the increased demand that was coming through Mustard Tree's door, which 
has had untold impact during the last 15 months and unmeasurable in a way in terms of being able to provide food um, and general clothing, furniture, etc. during that period. We've been here for people during the pandemic in whatever way we can and we'll continue to work with communities as they recover from COVID-19, investing in homes and places and making more things possible for more people.